This is a spreadsheet that allows you to track your cryptocurrency prices as well as identify potential investment opportunities. In this video, I'm going to share with you how it is that you can retrieve real-time and historical price data for your favorite cryptocurrencies in Excel. Okay, so to get the price of cryptocurrencies on your Excel spreadsheet is very simple, especially if you have an Office 365 subscription. I'm going to show you two methods of doing this. So starting with the first, we have the built-in Excel stocks function that comes with Excel on an Office 365 subscription. So generally what you need to do is you just need to enter the ticker of that particular cryptocurrency or the symbol and then just follow it up by the word USD so that way you get the price in US dollars. The only limitation of this method is that right now Microsoft only offers data coverage for this five different cryptocurrencies that you can see on the screen. So assuming that you have this and you want to get data for all of them, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click on data right here and then you're going to select and click on the stocks button. What this is going to do is it's going to recognize that these are different cryptocurrencies that you would like to get data for and it's going to allow you to access real time data for these companies. If you click right here on this button that says insert data, you can see all of the data that you can insert right away. So we can insert the 52 week high, for example, and here we get the data. We can also insert uh, the name of this different cryptocurrency. So as you can see, this gives us the name and you can just browse through all the information available that you can see right here and select the one that matches your criteria. So one of the most important ones, of course, is the price. So if you click right here, you will also be able to get the price. And the very cool thing about this is that th because this is built into Excel, you can just simply highlight the data, go on home, and you can change the formatting and apply any modifications or changes to the data that you would like. For example, we can also expand this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it is that you can get historical stock data for this cryptocurrencies. And then I'm going to show you a really powerful method that's going to allow you to do something very similar to this but for over 3000 cryptocurrencies that you can get data for. Okay, so in order to get historical data for your cryptocurrencies, you need to have a spreadsheet set up like this. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to enter the symbol of the cryptocurrency uh, that we wanna get data for, and you need to enter the symbol in this format. So you see we have the symbol and then we have the slash and then we have the USD. Now, the other thing that helps is to enter a specific date that you would like to get the historical data for. So we will have a start date. So we can have it right here and we will have an end date. And this is right here. And we're going to enter the start date to be January 1st, 2024. And the end date is going to be January 10th, 2024. You can, of course, change the dates very easily. All you need to do is make sure that they're actually formatted as dates. And you can see in this case, they're perfectly formatted for this use case. Now, we're going to use the stock history function, which comes in built in on, again on Excel for Office 365 users. So this is completely free if you have that. And what you're going to do is you're going to just follow the parameters in the functions. So first, it's going to ask you for the stock symbol. So for that, we're going to select the symbol right here. And then it's going to ask for the start date. So we have the start date right here. And then we're going to select the end date. And then it's going to ask what is the interval of the data that you would like to get. So in this case, we want to get daily data. So we select zero or you can just press on the tab button on your keyboard. We want to show the header so that way we know what data we're getting. You can also select zero if you don't want it. And they're shown in the order that you select. The first thing that we want to see is the date. So we're going to select zero and then we are going to get the close. So this is going to be one. So we're going to select this. And then after we have this, we can just press enter and you will get all the data. 
Now the other thing that you can do which is pretty powerful is to go in the function and just keep going adding more and more parameters but in this case we're fine so we're gonna click enter you can see that we get the data right away and from here you can perform any calculations or analysis that you want so for example let's say that we want to take this and multiply it by two just as an example and you will get the data right away so you can perform any calculations that you want now i'm gonna show you the other method to get cryptocurrency data and the best part about this method is that this allows you to get historical and real-time data for over 3,000 different cryptocurrencies so as you can see um, on our list we have a whole bunch of cryptocurrencies we also have some stocks as well uh, so this process works exactly the same for stocks but right now we're focused on the cryptocurrencies what you need to know is that you need to enter the symbol and then followed by the word USD so similar to what you had to do for the Excel stock functionality. And the cool thing is that you can create uh, charts and watches like this that provide you with a lot of useful data at once. So how does this work? Well, first, what you need to do is to use the wise price function to make this happen. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to get the name first of all these different uh, cryptocurrencies and stocks. And we're going to select uh, the list of stocks, just follow the instructions and then the parameters. In this case, the parameter is going to be the name. We click enter and as you can see, the data loads right away. And now we want to get the stock price. The stock price is exactly the same. You select the list of tickers, you select the parameter, which is price, and you can get the real time price of all these different cryptocurrencies as well as stocks. Now the market cap year high and year low is the exact same process. In this case, you select the list of tickers and you select the parameters, which you can go on the available data page of the Y Sheets uh, website to figure out what data is available. Uh, you can see if you click right here as well, you will see this. Only thing is, of course, in order for this method to work, you need the Y Sheets add-on that works on Excel and Google Sheets. And you just need to um, log in with your account and you will be able to pull the data automatically. Now, when it comes to how it is that you can get historical stock data, let me show you how it works. So we're going to create a simple candlestick chart based on historical stock data for Bitcoin. How do we do that? Well, this is very similar to what you do on the stock history function. So in this case, we are going to take the wise price function and I'm just going to open this right here so you can get an idea of how this works. Wise price function, we're going to enter the ticker BTC USD. If you remember from before, the parameters that we're going to get, this is where it gets interesting. So in this case, we're going to get the open, the high and the low. So how do we enter multiple parameters where we could select them from different cells on our spreadsheet or we could use these brackets right here. So we said open, high, low and of course the close. Great. Close the bracket and now it's going to tell us for number of days to end. So because in this case, we're going to take data for the last 30 days available, we could just enter 30. We don't even have to enter a start date and end date. We don't have to do that. We can just enter 30. And if we click enter right away, you can see how we get the data. So you can see the data right here, the day, the open, high, low, close. And most importantly, how the chart is automatically generated based on that data. Now you know how to get real time and historical cryptocurrency data in your Excel spreadsheet. And you can use this data in very creative ways to track your cryptocurrencies as well as find new ones to invest in. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what video you would like to see next.